Well, students certainly feel frustrated that Stone Academy administrators seem to be in hiding. Now, there are about 845 students spread out across all three campuses here in Connecticut. Many of those students are just months away from graduating, but now they say their educations, their careers, and their money are all in limbo. Emotions boiling over. We don't know if they're going to make you take it over again. We don't know what Lincoln Tech is going to do. This so is stupid because everybody act like they got an attitude when it's their fault this happening. As the State Nursing Board of Examiners held a virtual meeting to give Stone Academy students guidance on next steps. Attitude for no reason. All right. There's no attitude here. There were also no answers. We're demanding answers. Clinical nursing student Sasha Cancel just quit her job to focus on her last five months of school. Set to take an exit exam in 31 days. I'm feeling very defeated, very overwhelmed, very disappointed, disgusted. Stone Academy made the decision to close rather than face an audit after state regulators discovered the school's graduation rate was below 80%. 20% of their nursing teachers weren't even qualified and that the school was falsifying clinical experience, student attendance, and faculty evaluation records. Now students want to know what happens to their credits, clinical hours, and money. But what about our time, our effort, our hard work that we did to complete this? To have no guidance from a school that you sign up with is, it's gut-wrenching. You feel alone. The State Office of Higher Ed told Fox 61 they sympathize. It's heartbreaking. And are working as fast as possible to get answers. We're going to do our level best to make sure that every student is compensated to the extent that we can do that, whether that's a, a refund of, trend, of, of monies, a discharge of a federal loan, or getting them placed in an appropriate academy or school that will accept their transcripts. And to better get a handle here on students' individual situations, the Office of Higher Ed is asking students to fill out a survey, which you can find on our website at fox61.com. Now, as for when the exact closing date is going to be, we still don't know that, although the Office of Higher Ed told me it will be sometime before March 27th. But quite frankly, they said they want it to be sooner than later because they simply don't have any confidence that Stone Academy can deliver quality instruction. We're live here in East Hartford. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.